Okay, so this is another introduction of my video and a cop car is going up in the neighborhood of this like totally scandalous neighborhood I live in. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is just a second preface to the first preface to the video that I want to make about this neighborhood in my special little corner of the world here. Um, and that is, is that, I mean, it sounds like Jacob Israel is the only truther channel that I like anymore, which is not true. Obviously, I like my friends' truther channels and I like other truther channels that don't like pit people against uh, each other or certain parts of the 99% against the other parts of the 99%. That said, oh, I always want to keep, I always want to go up to this statue, the statue, the statue. I had this idea for this character once, and he was like this total nerdy idiot savant kid who like knew where all the statues were in any given city. And he could go to any given city and be like, where are the statues? I know where all the statues are. I can show you the statues. I'll give you a tour. See, he has a lisp, you know, that's why, because he's a nerdy kid. Well, she might not be an American Indian lady. I'm not sure, but anyway, it's a really cool bust of this woman. And onward and inward into the video of the impending next 2020 disaster of the alien invasion, of the impending alien invasion. Of which this lady statue has probably seen a bunch of stuff. She's probably already seen it already. Okay, so it's not quite as beautiful of a morning as it was yesterday, but even still, it's pretty damn beautiful, minus the red car. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna launch into the one minute video introducing you to this special little corner of my world, and then I will be back. All right, peace out. Hello, it's a beautiful, sunny morning in LA, and lots of crows flying around and I just thought that I would capture my little my little corner that I sit at on the wall of my neighbor's house my neighbor that I don't know <laughs> uh, my neighbor that I don't know in my neighborhood when I take my morning walks it's so so peaceful over here even with the crows honking in the background who sound like geese by the way a goose crow <laughs> oh, and there's a, like a head of a, of a, like an American Indian lady right there. It's so cool. Anyway, and that's just a big old house. But I just thought I would share it with you guys and more videos to come. All right, peace out. Okay, so I'm back. So I had a thought. This is just in closing of what we were talking about the other day. I had a thought because I was watching Jacob Israel the other day and he's like the one truther channel I still kind of really like because he's optimistic, you know, he doesn't put people against one another. Um, but anyway, he was talking about just all these stories about UFOs and just how kooky and crazy 2020 is. And I'm almost wondering if if, you know, how they say, like, Donald Trump is our reality TV show president. And he's all about the spectacle, which is kind of funny because this weekend he was going to be all about the spectacle and the crowds at his rally. <laughs> and a bunch of Zoomers and kids, like, totally snowed him on TikTok. <laughs> at least that's the official story, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> but Trump is funny, too, because he's like, he was, like, bragging, like, oh, I'm going to have millions of people at my rally and da 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 and then he accuses the mainstream media of scaring everyone off, which I think the mainstream media could have, would have scared everyone off by the time, the day the rally came. And I don't think if people really wanted to go, they would just get their tickets and not go. You know what I'm saying? So it can't be both ways, Trumpy baby. But anyway, it just cracks me up because if what they said is true about the TikTok videos and I have no, I, I tend to go with that story more than the other ones, then that means that a bunch of kids know Donald Trump and that's what truth or channels don't do today. They don't tell you that you have power and you can do things. But anyway, the reason I like Jacob Israel is because again, he's, he's nicer. I mean, he's a little bit like over the top sometimes, which some people might not like. He might be a bit too much of a big personality for them, but I just liked it because he's talking about like, oh my God, there's all these stories in the media about like, you know, how the FBI just released all the files, like back around the time the coronavirus came out of UFOs and, and that the military does acknowledge that there are things that they can't account for in the sky. Now there's an article coming out saying that 
about 36 civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy are, <clears throat> are capable of communication, et cetera, et cetera. So I thought, and I'm sure I'm not the first person to have thought this, but I thought, wow, I mean, for a reality TV star president who's this into spectacle, wouldn't this be the perfect time? Wouldn't this be the perfect time for Project Bluebeam? Or maybe to just even release the things. And then, well, I don't want to give anybody ideas. Oh, look, it's a butterfly. And then, hopefully it wouldn't lead to an emergency that would keep him in for a second term, but whatever. Oh my god, this is so stupid. That red car is gone today. But this little curve up against this big fortress of a house, whose house I don't know who it is. Um, there's this guy with a leaf blower. <laughs> And he was blowing the curve. I'm like, dude, nobody cares about that curve. He was going behind the red car to blow the curb. Blow, I keep saying curve. To blow the curb. I'll blow leaves off the curb. Oh my god, what a dork. Oh, and then also just now I saw a VW Bug van. And it came down and it was so 70s. Like it came right down the street where this car is coming right now. And the guy in it looked like he was from the 70s. He had like a shag haircut too. So that was another sort of time travel-y, otherworldly Mandela-y thing that happened today. Oh, I love those birds. All right, peace out.